Frank Miller has asked about the monitoring rates for deforestation and just asking you what sort of combination of satellite and other imagery would you need to use to monitor changes in woody biomass? I mean, that's the... Oh, right. So physical area, let, let's sort of break it down, if you like. So there's sort of three variables, basically. How big an area you're growing? How tall is it? And, and what is growing physically? What sort of species, if you like? In terms of area, that's pretty well covered. Depending where you are in the world, a mixture of either optical, red, green, blue data, into near infrared and mid infrared data will allow you to get the aerial extent. For cloudy areas, radar data is a great option because it's far less attenuated by, uh, by cloud. So, so area and monitoring changes, deforestation and reforestation, I, I think you've got a great chance. And there are some excellent programs and companies already out there doing that sort of work. For the height of the forest, there are various techniques, high net worth, you can use airborne laser, or you can use drone-based data to generate 3D models uh, of your entire canopy, but it's not cheap. So for larger areas, you can use uh, stereo satellite data, and, and that is feasible. Uh, there are one or two other techniques that you can use. And so therefore the sort of volume if you you've got some chance of doing it uh, especially if you integrate a couple of technologies to do it or you happen to have people on the ground especially in things like reforestation programs the actual species type now that's where it gets a bit more difficult broad-based delineation deciduous versus coniferous actually you've got a fair fighting chance Looking at the difference between oak and ash is starting to get much more difficult. There has been steps forward, and I have to say things like machine learning and moving into AI is helping enormously, as are the raft of training data pouring into those buckets. So it's starting to come online, and there are some companies starting to provide certain solutions. But personally, I still think it's got a little way to go. At University of Leicester, shout out to them. They've got some excellent experts on uh, forestry.